because we're live, and you not say anything. People are talking to me, Kirsten. I've got an advert now. You've got an advert? Guess which one it is. I'm going to do it all by myself. I'm going to do it. That one? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining our little soiree here. I'm going to do what I hope all of you have already done, and that is pour yourselves a good, strong drink. Prohibition exists now in South Africa, and uh, it's got so bad that we have a restaurant bar called Speak Easy across the road from us, which sells non-alcoholic booze. So not even the Speak Easy in South Africa is currently able to sell any kind of booze. And so I'm going to pour myself a little drink, and then I think we'll get on with it. How is the sound, dear wife o' mine? It's good, it's nice. I mean, amazing, but it's good for a phone. It's okay, you say, for a phone. Yes? What are you thinking? My voice sounded better. Your voice sounded better? <laughs> Let's turn it around. How? So flip the whole tripod around. But then you're going to see you. Yes? I'm just going to see you now. Because I can't... Oh, I can. Hang on. Oh, there she is. <laughs> In the kitchen. Okay. How's that? Is that better? The first song I'm going to sing is by a Canadian called Daniel Lanois. I think that's how you say it. Is it right? I first heard his uh, song. No, oh, yeah, they say everyone's saying turn it around. Oh, it's worse. Yeah. Sorry about this, everyone. It's our first time. Anyone would think that we. Orientation is locked. There we are. No. Gosh. <laughs> right. How are we doing? Okay, we're gonna start. This is the best we can do for now. You're moving it closer. Okay. Surprisingly, these things are quite difficult to actually test. Okay, here we go. So, The Maker by Daniel Lanois. And uh, it hasn't had any religious connotations for me, I don't know if it did for him, but I feel that it's a nice moving song in these trying times. If you'd like to ask a question, uh, not during the songs, obviously, but um, afterwards, then you are welcome to ask any questions you would like, and my wife will feed them through to me, as she has done for the last five or so years. Here we go. The Maker. <laughs> Oh, my body, 
My body is bent and broken From a deep, a deep and painful sleep Oh, I am worth the fields of Abraham And turn my head away I'm not a stranger in the hands of the Oh, Brother John, have you seen the homeless daughters? Oh, they're standing there with broken wings. Oh, I have seen the flaming souls that are over the east of Eden. Oh, they're burning in the eyes of the Maker. Oh, they're burning in the eyes of the Maker. Oh, yes, they're burning in the eyes of the Maker. from your sleep oh, oh, oh river rise from your sleep oh, oh river rise from your sleep That is the first song. Thank you very much. I shall now have a sip of scotch. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm now going to seek out some extra lyrics from this uh, device that I have over here. For my brain is too small to remember lyrics, even to songs that I wrote myself. Right. So the next song is a song called Girl in the Woods. And it was written uh, about a photograph I saw once of a woman, don't worry, it's a very clean story, sitting in uh, a forest on the Appalachian Trail. And it, it was just a really nice picture of somebody completely attached to the earth. And that made me very happy and uh, well, the time that I was going through. Uh, when was it? I was teaching the guitar at the time, and I remember that this song came out of me in about half a day. So in between teaching the ungrateful children that I was teaching, ages between six and sort of eight at the time, don't ever do that if you can avoid it, but if needs must, you must. Um, I, this thing popped out while I was playing on one of their tiny little half guitars. Anyway, so this is the girl in the woods. I just need to make sure that I have all the words here, lest I should forget them, and we have to start again. Okay, here we go. Girl in the Woods. Breezes blowing through the trees She sits in a patch of sun Her eyes on the ground She 
she breathes in the earth There's a gentle smile on her face Bathed in the green Her chocolate curly hair Runs all the way down her back She's alive with the beat of the land a heart taps time with the rhythm of the day She is tuning to the spirit of the trees And her soul is singing with the stars There's something in the way she lifts her head Her eyes shifting to the dusk There's a softness in her face Shines like the first light She lies back in the grass Her eyes shift to the dimming sky Oh, her pretty face a picture Of the way she sees the world She's alive with the beat of the land her heart taps time with the rhythm of the day She is tuning to the spirit of the trees And her soul is singing with the stars And she says to me, oh, don't you worry, boy My smile has always been for you why don't you come over here and lay yourself beside me, boy? As the stars flicker in the blue. Mm -hmm. So I lie in the grass next to her. My fingers weaving a dream of the life we hope there'll be beneath the stars and the trees. Turns a face to me. Her breath fills me like the spring. Oh, she whispers to my heart, I was yours from the start. She's alive with the beat of the land. A heart taps time with the rhythm of the day. She is tuning to the spirit of the trees And her soul is singing with the stars and Her soul is singing with the stars Her soul is singing with the That was a girl in the woods. I must now tune my guitar once again. Can I interrupt you? You may. Two questions. Two I questions. I don't know what the, the name of the song was for the first one. The first one is called The Maker. Thank you, Laura Moore. And I'm here to you to tell us who was that about that song. Who wrote it? Our beard. It was written by a Canadian called Daniel Lanois. L-A-N-O-I-S. And, I mean, if you Google him, he's a very prolific songwriter. He's just not a kind of, I guess, mainstream songwriter. And Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds did a really nice version of it. Um, when? I don't know. If you just Google, you know, YouTube, then you'll find them doing it there. Okay. We're ready for the next one. Now, the next one I wasn't going to do tonight, and then I saw someone requested it on Twitter. Um, and I'm not really good at doing requests because often I don't even know the song that is being requested, but I really like this song and so I thought this is a good idea. This is um, a Pink Floyd song called Wish You Were Here, which I'm sure you all know very well indeed. And unfortunately there is no um, other person to join me on the guitar, so we'll have to do without solos. Um, I'm teaching my wife, trying to teach 
which my wife had to play the guitar, but she's as yet proving fairly stubborn on the um, learning front there. She's a more technical person. She actually does have quite a nice singing voice, although she'll tell you she can't sing at all. Anyway, here it is, Wish You Were Here. And it was, I suppose, written in the heyday of Pink Floyd, before it all went kawula, when the egos got in the way, as they so often do. And I think, for me, this is just a song that is really nice whenever you're missing someone or something or a time that uh, you once experienced. And perhaps in these trying COVID times, this is a, a good song to sing. Here it goes. Probably uh, was a tumultuous but very entertaining time for you. That's amazing. Um, quick uh, interlude to tell you that uh, my wife's been hard at the computer of late. And, um, well, Friday next week sees the launch of the second season of Me, My Wife and the Wildlife. This is not a long season. It will be two episodes and we'll detail our trip to Somkande Game Reserve in KwaZulu-Natal uh, last week. She's giving me the thumbs up there. Okay, next song is another original song, and it is called Catch the Falling Light. And this is the kind of song uh, that one, I suppose it is a combination of nostalgic memories of living in the bush and summer, summer insects, 
verdant vegetation and the romance that comes with living in such a place. And such romance, of course, netted me my very fine wife just behind the camera over there. Not so, my dear. Yes, yes, good. All right, here we go. Catch the falling light. I've been sipping G and T's for a while. The dust threw soft light on your smile. A guitar was playing, Captain, somewhere inside. Yellow porch light, the hot air was thick and heavy with the summer. And I'm fighting in the loneliness of you. I'm searching for your heart in the heat. Somewhere in the distance, in the smoke behind your eyes, I'm running for to catch the falling lies. I'm running for to catch the falling lies. Oh, an owl called from a knobbly tree The old porch creaked as she danced with me The noise at the party inside I can hardly remember Oh, I didn't even know her well There were so many things she wouldn't tell But I smile every time my mind goes wandering back there And I'm fighting in the loneliness of you I'm searching for your heart in the heat I'm running for to catch the falling light I'm running for to catch the falling light Oh, I can feel it, it's hanging in the half-lights Loft it floating up, it's from the far side Oh, the beer-covered story They lift and then they fly There's such a careless flow about your eyes Summer nights that crossed us off in the scent of the wind The insects sang the only song we needed I couldn't think beyond the feel of you You worried about the future You were torn up by a time you'd never seen And I'm fighting in the loneliness of you I'm searching for your heart I'm running for the cast of falling light I'm running for the cast of falling light I'm running for the cast of falling light I've been sipping G and T's for a while The dust threw soft light on your smile A guitar was playing Clapton's to the finale of the evening, I think. Yes, this is the finale. So soon. So, you all five songs, wasn't it?
there's a great clamour, we might be able to manage Make an encore. Make Up Girl Laurie says, can this be a weekly show? Make Up Girl Laurie? Um, well, we'll certainly do more than one episode. Whether it'll be weekly for the rest of time, I, I, I don't think so. Because I'll run out of songs. And Della James wants to know where's your plucky thing? She's got one from the Rolling Stones. Where's my plucky thing? Here's yes. my plucky thing. Della? Mine is not from the Rolling Stones, like yours is. Mine is from the music connection of Craig Hall Park down the road. I think it was Can an exorbitant price. Hmm? You yes, you may give me as many Shams questions as you like. Know how long can it take to write an original song? Inspiration to final. Well, that's a good one, Shamsun, because the first one that I played you, Girl in the Woods, came out in about probably three hours total. Um, that's all. And that next one must have taken weeks of tinkering, weeks and maybe months of tinkering and fiddling with, yeah. So it, it can take three hours or it can take weeks and sometimes probably even years. I must confess, once you start writing songs like this, you know, which are for four or five minutes long maximum, you come to appreciate the immense brilliance of someone like Beethoven, for example, who wrote his entire Ninth Symphony deaf. He never heard it. He never played it to himself. He just, it came out of his head. And I know that it was a tremendous artistic struggle for him, but I mean, that work is an hour long and he never even managed to hear it. I think it's unbelievable. Okay, so final song. This song is one I've sung many times, uh, sometimes online even, and I just, it's one of my favorite songs ever. And I sang it last year, around about this time, in the Masai Mara, I was lucky enough to be there. And it was at that time about a week ago, yeah, about a week ago today, a, year, a week ago, a year ago, make sense, 53 weeks ago, 53 weeks ago, that uh, one of South Africa's great sons, Johnny Clegg, unfortunately died. Cheers to Johnny. And I sang this, is one of his songs, and it's one of my favorite songs of his. And I sang it then. So I'm going to do it again. And it's called The Great Heart. And for me, it's a song of just enormous inspiration. And if you can, watch the original version of the movie Jock of the Bushveld. They play the song, which is very unusual in the film, in its entirety. And you can find it actually online. If you go and Google Great Heart, Jock of the Bushveld, you may well find the scene. And it's shot in the Kruger, where uh, also a late South African actor called Jonathan Rands and his dog are running through just some of the most inspirational country in South Africa. And so whenever I'm feeling a bit down, I go and watch that video again or sing the song. And it connects me back to that landscape and uh, I guess it just grounds me. So here it is, The Great Heart. The world is full of strange behavior Every man has to be his own savior I know I can make it on my own if I try But I'm searching for a great heart To stand me by underneath the African skies A great heart to stand me by I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart To hold and stand me by I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart Under African skies Sometimes I feel that you really know me Sometimes that's so much you can show me There's a highway of stars across the heavens 
A whispering song of the wind in the grass A rolling thunder across the savannas A hope and a dream at the edge of the skies And your life is a story like the wind Your life is a story like the wind I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart To hold and stand me by I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart Under African skies I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart I see the fire in your eyes I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart That to beats are my name inside Sometimes there's so much you can show me Sometimes I feel that you really know me Zimba, Salaw and Shizio means stay Gukam Zimba, grow old my body, but stay young my heart. Salaw and Shizio, stay young my heart. And there it is. Most people say that they love that and they're in tears. They're in tears. And there's a lot of um, this word, it's, it's called encore. Encore. I think you have to do an encore. All right, shall we do one more? Shall I? Uh, wait, I'm going to be a diva now. Watch. Oh, if I must. <laughs> if I must. I don't know what to do now. Do you have any... Lady says a safe place to land. No, I don't remember the words of that one. Kirsten, do you have any requests? My um, dearly beloved. I'm trying to think of a good one. It's an original from you. What about the... the um, no, before? I don't remember the words of that. I really I don't. I'll week. do it next week. All right, let's do, um, I think let's do something uh, sort of, uh, it's a universal song, this. It's about women's inhumanity to man. So it's a very serious subject, the song. And um, unsurprisingly, most songs ever written are about this uh, very subject. Oh 
on my knees, Layla. Oh, I'm begging you, darling, please, Layla. Darling, won't you ease my worry mind? <laughs> found a way I mean Layla You got me on my knees Layla Oh I'm begging you darling please Layla Darling won't you ease my worried mind I tried to give you consolation Your old man had to let you down Like a fool to be freezing. But it has broken up a few things, so we can send your sincere apologies. I will as soon as it stops freezing. It's fine for me. It's oh, outside. is it? I'm not sure that you'll be able to see me soon then. Okay, anyway. I have a question for you. Yes, Aaron. give me a question. He says, do you have any future plans for travel plans and for a third season of Me, My Wife and the Wildlife? Oh, we have many plans for many seasons of Me, My Wife and the Wildlife. Um, the next one will be hopefully to Botswana. We have a trip going with Chobi 4x4, you can look them up. We're going to go and shoot a little show for them along exactly the same lines as we did in the Khalakhadi and at Sumkanda, and that'll be through the northern parts of Botswana, COVID allowing. And that will be, when will that be? That will be the end of October. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll do this again probably next week if I can convince my wife it's a good idea. Okay. I don't know how to stop this now. Maybe you will just be live for the rest of time. Ta -da, ta -da. I literally don't know how to stop it. I'm poking at the screen. You can, probably, can, can you see me poking at the screen? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It must be lovely. Um, there's no stop button. <laughs> we'll just be live forever. This is embarrassing. Cancel. Live chat. No, 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 no. No, that's turned. Now you can see my wife. That's no good. Um, well, it is quite good, actually. Maybe we should go back to her. <laughs> Uh, I've tapped the live button. It's literally... Oh, there it is. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs>